Hi, welcome to another dialogue tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you how to use, how to like and unlike stuff in your dialogue application. This this scenario works really great if you if you have a directory. If you have a directory and if you have um, if you have a news application, if you have an application where people can leave their comments and other persons can like it, if it's a social media application, yeah, it's going to work. So it's going to work for any application that requires users to like and unlike stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a demo app that's not so related. So you can see uh, back to this database, we have invoice type, we have PDF and we have users. So we want to say, okay, what if we're listing all these PDFs? Yeah. What if we're listing all this PDF like so, and then we want our users to be able to like and unlike the PDF. First in first, yeah. First in first, we're going to create a list of the PDF. So um, this is what we do. Go ahead and click on the plus sign. Uh, just we just create a custom list. Click right here like so. So the PDF has the PDF uh, co collection has an image, yeah. It has an image like so. So just you know click on it, and then add an add a. We're just gonna add this one like so. Add a name to the PDF, and then we can add a to go button. So this might not be so good a UI, but it's just gonna show you how to how to get things done. It's just gonna show you how to get things done. So click right here for favorite. Then highlight everything and group it. After grouping it, turn it into a list. Turn it into a list. The reason why you turn it into a list is so that it be repeating. So, so that you can easily, you know, you can easily repeat stuff. That's the reason why you turn it into a list. And then it's going to ask you, this is a list of words. This is going to be a list of PDFs. Yeah. So if you, if you, uh, we click on it, if we click on it, then we can then put all the, uh, adjust all the components that's inside. So let's go ahead and just adjust all the components. The image is going to be current database, current PDF image. That's what it's going to be. And we'll go there. The test is going to be the current PDF title. Current PDF title. And you don't have to bother about the toggle button. Yeah, that's fine. You don't have to bother about the toggle button. So if we view our app, we just go ahead and preview the application right now. You see what I'm talking about. You don't have to bother about the toggle button. All of that things are set up. So you can see the name, the image, and all of this. They're not really well placed, but you know. It's a tutorial and we're good. So what we're going to do is go back to our database. We want to create a relationship between the PDF and the user. The reason why we're doing this is so that we will know what PDF a user liked. Yeah, we'll be able to find all the PDF the user liked. So we want to just create a relationship between the user and the PDF. To do so, open the user database. If you want to, click Add, Add Property and say with PDF. You can do this from the PDF that the PDF collection is the same thing. Right here it says a PDF can have multiple users, a user can belong to one PDF. No. A PDF can only have one user, a user can have multiple PDF. No. But this is what we want. A user can have multiple PDF, a PDF can have multiple users. So this is a many to many relationship. This is what we want. So when we when we, we're gonna scroll down and just name this favorite PDF. So if your application it requires people to to build a house, you know, stuff like that, to pick, select from a house, select from items, you know, food menus, and the rest of it. Yeah, it's fine. So it's gonna be favorite PDFs, that's what we'll do. Then we'll come right here and click on the toggle button. Click on the toggle button. So the toggle button is gonna be what? A list of user, favorite PDF, include current PDF. This is a PDF, this could be a list of use, logged in user, Favorite, favorite houses include current houses. So that's that's it. Then we'll screw down. So once we've done that, we'll screw down. So remember, it has two options, right? Two options. Two options. It has two options, and then we'll just, you know, we just have to screw down and add, add the first action. So when we add the first action, we'll go, we'll click on update logged in user. Yeah, update logged in user. So what we want to change, what do we want to change? We want to change this. We want to add, it, add the current PDF when the person click on it and say, 
I like it. We say done. Then when the person unclick it, okay. Oh, when the user so so when it's turned off, forgive me. When it's turned off. So yeah, when when it's uh, um, when it's turned off. When it's turned, when it's turned on, this is what's gonna happen. When it's turned off, we're going to go back to our update, logged in users right there, scroll down, click on it, and say remove current PDF. So what this does is that if I favorite it, I'm going to you're going to add it to some some uh, uh, database. If I unfavorite it, you're just going to remove it. That's the same thing that happens in your Facebook post. When you up, when you like a Facebook post, it goes away. When you unlike it, it comes back to you. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do right there. And that's the way our app will be. So if you you wanna take this forward, you can actually display all the favorites of a particular user. So you can see all my favorite. It's just gonna be a list of all the PDFs and you're going to sort it by all the PDF I favorite. Say for example, if we bring it down here and just put a list. So I'm gonna put it on the same page. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it on the same page. We're going to say this is going to be a list of PDF. Then we'll say feature logged in users PDF. Or we're going to feature it and say logged in users favorite PDF. Same thing. Same thing. Logged in users favorite PDF or logged in users PDF. Same thing. But if we if you're choosing the first one, logged in users PDF, you're going to say add a custom feature and say, you're going to add a custom feature and say uh, uh, sort by sort by users you know favorite or but but you don't have to do that you just go ahead and say logged in users favorite pdf so every time a, a logged in user favorite something is going to happen here that's it so let's go ahead and preview our applications again so if i favorite something it's gonna appear here right I favorite another one, it's gonna appear here. Just like so. If I am favorite, it's gonna go away. If I am favorite, it's gonna go away. Favorite again, it's gonna appear here. So that's the way you just you know create a favorite and an unfavorite button in Adado. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, you know, leave your comment and I'll do it to respond to each of them. If you want to reach out to me, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at Paul underscore Codewa. Uh, the link is going to be in the description. Feel free to reach out to me and so we can have some beautiful conversation. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful work day ahead.